It's very important to consider what kind of file you'll be using and exporting with Photoshop. For example, from my assets, I'm going to open up all an image. I might then decide to add some text to this file. And as previously, I might choose to change the gradient for it. Now this is a working file, this should be my master. It's got the original background, but it's now got some text with some gradients affected. So if I go to save this, it will automatically be saving as a Photoshop file. So perhaps I'll call this Woman Master. I can still now edit these layers and the background as I see fit. However, if I wanted this final product to go onto the internet, or I was delivering it to a client, I probably wouldn't want to give them the original master Photoshop file. Instead, I want to export it. So in this case, I'm now going to go to Save As, and I'm going to change it to Woman Customer. And I'm going to change this to a JPEG. If I now open up that export woman customer, you'll notice that the files don't look any different. However, on the woman customer file, I've lost all of my layers. I simply have one image. But my master file has the background and the text and the gradient applied to it. And these can all be manipulated as I see fit. So it's very important when you're working in Photoshop and you want to go back to it with editing and continuation of a project that you save it as a Photoshop file. But if you're exporting it for a customer it needs to be saved as a JPEG or a PNG or an alternative.